We are back on the trail of big caterpillar mining machines. And the outer shipping carton of this Diecast Masters model tells us what's inside. It's the Cat D11 Dozer, and this model is the TKN version. This is a Diecast Masters Highline series model, so it comes in very high quality packaging. Inside the outer shipping carton is a nylon bag, and it contains a tin. It has very high quality artwork, including nice photos. And there are also technical details about the real machine. The robust tin lid pulls off and let's see what's inside. And we start with a mini brochure, and the operator is travelling in the top deck. Also included is the operator manhandling device, and every manager wishes they had one. After that we remove some more packaging, and this time it's dense foam. And finally we see the model sitting in the bottom of the tin. The real machine weighs over 100 tonnes, so we need a heavy lifting hand crane to get the model out of the tin. There is more protective packaging to remove, including foam on the blade. And there are also thin plastic retainers on the crawler tracks. So from top to bottom, the packaging is of the highest standard. Let's have a quick look at the mini catalog and it's the 2019 version. And there's also a simple instruction sheet that describes how to get the operator into the cab. Is it assembly? Can it be described as assembly? Well on this occasion we'll say yes to getting the operator in the cab. Firstly we take off the roof. And while we're waiting for the operator to be bothered to turn up, let's have a look at the detail inside and you can see Cat on the seat back. And there's also very nice detailing of the controls. Here comes the operator and fortunately he's got a nice thick skull. So our special piece of encouragement gets him into the cab. And if he won't sit properly, we can apply some more discipline. Once he's in, you can lock the roof and throw away the key. Starting underneath and the metal crawler tracks are very nicely detailed. And the model number on the casting shows it's the same as the previous version. But this updated version has the model number applied as graphics. You can see that the underside of the blade is also impressively modelled. The main drive sprocket is plastic with a decent colour match. But a highlight of this model is the tiny graphics, as seen here on the track frame. The ripper on this version of the model is different to the previous one because this is a free shank ripper. The detail is of a high standard, including plenty of hydraulic hoses. Above the ripper, the fire suppression system is modelled, and on this version that includes colour-coded hoses. It also has the latest design of CAT logo. Nearly all of the handrails on the model are metal, and they have a good-looking thinness. There was one blemish on the review model where there's been a paint touch-up in the factory, but that aside, the quality is really good. Additional detail includes these black cables running to the work lights on the roof. The operator is the standard Diecast Masters type, and you can see more tiny warning graphics. Another example are these really tiny graphics on the roof structure. New on this version are graphics to represent grills on the sides of the engine compartment, so it's not see through like on the real machine. But again, the detail is much enhanced in terms of tiny graphics. Paint highlighting also adds detail. The big blade is impressive with its wear plates at the bottom, and it's nice to have see-through grills at the top, even if it is achieved by these parts being plastic. Other details include the cat logo at the front, and decent looking exhaust stacks. Another nice touch is the hydraulic hoses behind the blade. We start underneath with the functionality and the crawler tracks are very free rolling. And if we get the model out on the Cranes Etc test track, then it's possible to drive the D11 like a real pro. Yes, impress your family and friends as you drive this mighty machine. Getting back to reality and we look at the functionality of the blade. 
and although it's stiff it raises to a decent height and has some tilting ability. Most impressive is the forward and back tilt and here the range of movement is very good. Moving to the rear end and the ripper has a good parking height and if you push it all the way down it has a very good ripping depth. The top rams can also change the angle of the ripper teeth. Other functionality includes opening covers on the engine and that allows you to see that the engine has been modelled underneath and you can also open the cover on the opposite side of the machine. Lastly this D11 has a powered access stair and that rotates down effectively. This version of the D11 sports the latest CAT logo, but there are a number of changes in the casting and the level of detailing has been increased by the use of tiny graphics. The D11 is a big and impressive machine and overall Diecast Masters has produced a model which is excellent.